right, so for today's episode, I'm going to be working on something inside of the area where we just cleared off. As you can see, we're also doing the bedrock break, and this is the bedrock breaker we are using. Uh, not any particular reason, just because it's sort of a simple one way to build. And because since we'll have to build this quite a number of times, as you can see, we're done quite a bit of destroying the bedrock here. We are almost a fifth of the way done with how much we've cleared out because there is five layers and you need to do each time a circle it takes a lot longer than it would obviously to of course do the square in the center which we did actually use a three-way bedrock breaker for but you know we're on the hard part where it's building a bunch of those machines there i think it's like close to a thousand times we'll need to build this machine and then we also can't do all of it with the machine because some of it will have an overhead because we want to break the circle all the way down so what we need to do is uh, do some manual bedrock breaking whether that's we use a little bit of lag bedrock breaking for that i'm okay with that but on this large scale i really did not want to use lag bedrock breaking as in the game as possible so nothing else we do uh differently ideally i would want to do the overhead that will be left over from the single uh one-way bedrock breakers with regular bedrock breaking which is just you know the regular manual one where you place the piston yourself and everything like that the tnt all that kind of stuff of course this is on a scale of a full perimeter so it will take quite some time no matter what we do but i wanted to do this without lag bed arc breaking just for the main the challenge of it make it that much cooler in the end but yeah got a lot of bed arc breaking to do so all the materials here this isn't on all the materials we'll need we'll probably need a bit more stuff but uh, this should at least get us quite the way down once we need to then go refill some pistons but i think this will be quite a bit or now so yeah let's go continue on that and then we can get back to other stuff for this episode all right so as you can see quite a bit of time has passed for the decoration here believe it or not this has only been a couple days the floor was built very very quickly of course because you know it's just how it goes around here and at the time of recording this these walls were just put in in the sink not even 10 hours ago and as you can see a lot of progress is done for them so yeah of course we're not going to go all the way up uh mainly because we do the top bedrock break in here so we don't want to interfere with that so we're stopping at this uh gray layer here but as you can probably guess by the pattern here what we have going on is it'll just basically be a reverse of the bottom here. So we'll have black concrete powder on top of that gray concrete powder, and then we'll finish off with the black concrete right as we reach the bedrock roof, which of course we can't do if the bedrock is still in the way. So that is our next project to do, is to clear all that out, and then we will have our full perimeter here completely done. So yeah, let's see how far we can get. Uh, obviously this deco will be done very, very quickly, and then there is some other things to add here. There are some pillars here uh, on the four sides of this circle here. That doesn't make any sense because circles don't have sides. But you get what I mean. These flat areas right here will have a pillar of some sort to add to it just a little bit more detail. And then, of course, here this wall will be all filled in. But yeah, so this will be done. Then we have a couple more things to add. But then we have the full decoration completely done for the circle part here. And then we can actually start working on the actual farm, which will be a whole project in of itself. But I promise you the output and everything will be worth it. So yeah, uh, let's go either finish the walls here first, or I'll probably start on the bedrock breaking because that's going to take really, really long. I don't think we're going to finish it in time or when this video needs to be out, but hopefully we can see uh, how it goes. All right, so we finally have the first layer completely cleared out in the circle pattern. Of course, with a couple of mishaps in the corners there. Then the first time we started it, I did not place the redstone block in the right spot. So as you can see, this part is slightly over the edge of the circle, which was to end right here. And then it also did happen on this side over here, not once, but also again. So it is not going to be a perfect circle, sadly, um, at least with that. So we are going to have to do something with that. Obviously, we can't get the bedrock item in 117, so we're not going to be able to fix that. 
So we'll just make it with some concrete or something that we can find close to the bedrock texture. Uh, that would be our best option. But yeah, as you can see here, the deco down here is also mostly in. Obviously, we did stop below the bedrock roof here. That way we don't blow anything up with the bedrock breakers, which of course this will take some time, but it will be worth it in the end. So then obviously once all those bedrock is done, then we can finish off the decoration and basically cap it off right where the top layer of bedrock would have been. We also added some electric pillars. This is not the only decoration that would be here. While it is quite simple, it did take some time to plan. Actually a full stream it did take to do that but the floor obviously is already pre-placed. And then one of our decorators added some pillars here, reflector, uh, made some of these pillars up. There will be uh, four of each, the uh, lime green, as well as four of the yellow, which will all have beacons on them, and you'll see it at the very end. Hopefully, if we get that all done in this episode, if not, you will just have the majority of the decoration done, and then hopefully over time, finish off the roof here, which could be a little bit. So now I'm going to do is we have the full circle pattern out. We don't need this circle anymore because uh, basically this will be the same for all five layers. So we have the majority of it done. So that circle is not needed anymore. We have the full circle done at least. So now we can just focus on making bedrock breakers. And what I want to do now is actually do four of them at once or how many I can fit within this area, obviously, because we can't uh, do it all next to each other because of the fact that it is uh, five blocks wide. And then of course the TNT explosion, we'll have to see what we can do with that. So right, let's see what we can do here and then we'll go from there. Alright, so as you saw from that little short time lapse, you see that we have the machines now that we can do multiple at a time, now that we have very easily, distinctly, the pattern we need to follow. And of course, we don't even necessarily need those redstone blocks anymore because the machines will stop themselves. After realizing I did it the first time here, no matter what we do, the pistons will always stop here. So the only thing we really need to stop is the fine machine, which is the reason for that redstone block in there. So yeah. Uh, honestly, this is going to be the same amount of time that it took to do the other ones. It's going to just seem like it's going faster because we'll build more than we'll build more than one of the machines at once, just for an overall more satisfying uh, weighting of it. Obviously, that's not the best to do. What I'll probably do is what I used to do before: is I'll build one machine up, put all the pistons in place, the redstone block at the end, start that one, go to the next one, build it up, start it, next one, like that, just like that. Now instead of having to do uh, a side at a time, I can basically just do all of this, uh, the side over here, then go work over here. I get faster at it, of course. I can always, you know, start making more of them while this one is still running over here. But I think this three that we're doing at the time right now will be good enough. And then, of course, once we get down to here, it'll only be two of them before that. So it won't be too bad at all. And of course, the reason why I start out this side first is because it gets it's the longest part. So it gives me more time in between each building of each of the bedrock breakers, which makes it a little bit easier to do. Obviously, you start with the least amount of time before, then you're going to be catching up to machines. If I start 
ahead of them, then I will be waiting for the machines to end, not the machines waiting for me to finish building the other one. Therefore, increasing, in quotation marks, productivity when not really. But that's kind of how my brain works. Always has, always probably will be. So yeah, let's continue doing this and we'll see how far we get. Hopefully we get this all done by the time it's going to need to come out or we will have to improvise for other stuff. Either way, we'll be keeping you guys updated with the, the progress of this project and we will go from there. All right, so since we're not going to be able to finish the full decoration in today's episode because of all the bedrock breaking that still needs to take place, what I wanted to do is show off the full decoration once it's done without the floor, of course. I didn't have that saved, so we just have the full decoration here. As you can see, we stopped around this height here, I believe, for the concrete powder here. Uh, other than that, it's been completed up to that part, even the pillars for all of them. So uh, unfortunately, we can't finish it off because the, all the bedrock needs to be broken in the way, which is where this part of the uh, top of the pillar would be. So there will actually be bedrock, ideally all the way around this. So this will be all filled in with bedrock, and then this will just sit right on top of that. And then we'll have our entrance to our uh, lazy raid farm, another side decoration. This will take some time. I'm not going to rush it. It's definitely taken a lot longer than expected um, to actually complete all this. But the deco itself, simple yet effective. It definitely, I think, fits in with the raid, with the crystals for, you know, the yellow color for the totems and the green for the emeralds, even though... We don't store either of these for the farm uh for this farm so yeah but i think it really it works well it's very simple it's a very underwhelming fade but circle pattern i think makes up for it we've never actually done one on a circle and it being our first another perimeter that we've actually hand dug makes up for the fact how simple the decoration is here definitely something that we did not plan the, obviously this uh fade here, so then something that I actually made, which is a surprise to most people again, which definitely fit the raid theme. Now it is a bit of a pain to build a survival, but that's what happens with most things. As you can see in the corner, we also have them rotated on a 45 degree axis because we are all in a circle. We originally only had the four on the uh, part right there for all four of these. Then we added these extra four to just kind of complete it off and make it feel uh, more filled in and things like that. So yeah, this is something we need to be finished in SMP, but I wanted to show you guys the full finished project before it actually gets done in SMP because it will take quite some time and probably will not be done until after the two year world tour. Uh, but other than that, these pillars, like I said, made by reflector and then everything else was kind of there. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, all sorts of the things, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so before the video ends, I know I did do an outro and everything like that. just want to keep you guys informed, and thank you for all of the support and stuff like that. Um, it has been a bit rough over these times, so you guys have know. Also been really busy outside of doing Minecraft stuff, so that's why the videos are kind of short and not uh, filled with all the different projects we used to do all in one episode, because it is harder to do that. Those that don't know, I did get a new car, so... That also did take up a lot of time these past few weeks, so the videos have been uh, shorter than usual, so I do apologize for that. And also the two-year world tour is coming up in about a week now at the time of recording. That's kind of why the episodes have not been as packed as they used to be, because it's a lot of less time and stress that I've been trying to do with the two-year world tour. So I appreciate you guys that have understand and have kept with me for this whole time. I There will be some more things announced in the two-year world tour, so I hope you guys... Are understandable and things like that i definitely do appreciate everything like that that you guys have been supporting all this stuff this up series and for the two-year world tour i am also working on something special that will kind of do like a little bit of a trailer for the two-year world tour of everything that autocraft has accomplished and things like that and then the two-year world tour will be after that so yeah just quick little insight and like that so thank you guys for taking with me and have a great night day and i will see you guys in the next one